Gary Jr. and welcome back to another video. And today we will be checking out that vegan teacher. Now, people have been making videos on her for months because of how cuckoo for cocoa puffs this woman can get. I'm not saying that vegans are weird, or I don't really have anything against vegans. It's the way they want to live. They can do that. But that vegan teacher has. Something going on, I I don't know, she's just a little bit um insane in the head. I don't want to be too harsh about it, because, like, I don't like being a mean person, but it's kind of true. But anyway, roll the intro. Nobody cares. Oh my gosh, she's got so much stuff so in the fridge. It's kind of full. It's not always this full. But I didn't clean it up or anything. So I'll just give you a quick tour of what I have. And you can see just quickly that it looks like a normal fridge. Does she have her, no air, dead her bodies in iPad there. No behind eggs, her or something? Because no it doesn't sound like it's no coming cheese, from the video. Unless it's vegan. So let's have a look. So back here you can see that there are some vegan milks. There's oat milk and there is soy milk and we Ugh. also have a whole bunch of other stuff. I always Sorry, try she to get the fruit 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 fruit. I have some strawberries here. I can throw those in a smoothie. You can also eat the green part, by the way. If you're too lazy to take it off, just throw the whole thing into a smoothie. No, I also you're sometimes slice these the and put thing. these on peanut butter toast well, no, or I just eat them plain crap. like that. Always make sure you eat a lot of fruits and veggies each day. I also have here some blueberries. And these, what I love to do is I like to warm them up on the stove and add just a little bit of maple syrup. I mash what? them That's up weird. and I make kind of a Ew. jam out of it. And I put those on Ew. toast as well. So Ew, the one thing I really do love is, I don't is like whole grain toast with warming some them up, uh, blueberries and then putting on maple blueberries. syrup on it. We also have Ew, this one was a delicious weird. watermelon, and in here we have some Drugs. of those large portobello the mushrooms. Cocaine. What you can do with those is you can fry these up, and you can put them, make burgers out of them. Oh, she's got and shrooms! You can wow! Some recipes I knew she was for that doing drugs. If you are ever interested. So again, the idea is to have a large variety of foods each day. Don't eat too much because you don't want to get overweight, and you don't want your you don't want to get overweight. Much. Sure. You don't wanna, especially don't want to waste. I don't even so see how you can get overweight from all the crap that she's eating. Too much food right now for it's us. It's all vegetables so we're and have fruit. have to really be careful because remember, when you open your fridge, you eat what needs to be eaten, not what you feel like eating. You eat what needs to be eaten, so you don't waste food. We have here some nutritional yeast. Food doesn't get wasted we in my house. We eat whatever the heck we want. Any kind of soup Not or stew need. that we make. Sprinkle it on salads. It's really delicious. And it has usually some extra, it has some B12 in there. And that makes it healthy because, of course, you know that vegans need to have B12. And you should take a B12 supplement, which is not a big deal because it's better than paying so for she's, murder. Um, Lots of stuff. Spinach, as you can see. Okay, this she's um, baking here. That's yeah, baking she's soda. pouring drugs. And we have here some mint that we can use to make tea with. Mint. Also delicious. And we have more mushrooms. Mm, this is man, a little bit of leftover. It is some. What the heck is that? Beans. Uh, some sorry. Oh, it's brown gross. rice and it is chickpeas and lentils mixed together. No, that's And we usually make a huge up. pot of this. Oh, I don't think this, this is right. Good. Good. You heard it here first, first guys. Oh, she smuggles dog throw up. Is someone putting Flappy Bird in the background? So yeah, we make a huge pot like this. It's usually a big pot. Full. She's got pot. And we keep adding different veggies to that. And you should get drugs. Throughout she the does week. all so the this drugs. This is a huge tip. Just make a big pot and you'll have it always ready to add whatever vegetables what do you want. What should you boil the dog? So you won't get and then you drink it or something? And think, oh, I can't be eat it. Because of course you can be vegan. Hummus. Hummus. You can make hummus yourself. Some people didn't actually know what hummus was. So what it is is chickpeas. Basically ground up with a little bit of oil and some spices and some tahini mixed in. More spinach back here and a cut up onion ready to go. If you cut up onions by the kind of a bit more in advance, like a bunch of Why onions, you'll always be ready onion? when you want to fry something up really quickly. Again, Shell. we now fry only in water. 
And so we put that in a frying pan and we saute it and we uh, can add some celery to that and then we add whatever kind of vegetables there are and mix it in with our base. So we also have here a treat. Check this out. This is vegan. And this is something no, we have very it's actually not vegan. It is just a treat, but look. Look at that. You're joking, right? I mean, does that look any different from any other brownie you've ever had? It's so moist. It's so delicious. You don't need animals to make brownies in the first it, place, right? But of course, if you're allergic no, to nuts, you know you don't what, have you to think have you need nuts. milk. Oh, yeah, you need like dairy products to make it. Um, anyway, so what else do we no, have here? Gosh. We have some cucumbers. These can just be eaten straight out like that. Remember, you she don't need to get too fancy. She does not eat the those. The more pure your vegetables, the better. The simpler, the better. Just grab one and just walk away. Or while you're watching TV, have some veggies then. Just munch on some cucumbers. Or yeah, I'm just going to go sit and watch some little cherry tomatoes. I don't even know some don't Netflix and just chips. chow down with some cucumbers. Like, hold. I mean, healthy. slice them up just eating it. Here we have some corn. That was delivered and it was frozen, so it's in the fridge now because you're not supposed to refreeze things. So we're going to cook that probably today and mix with the green beans probably today and just have this leftover and put a bunch of spices, curry, cumin, garlic, and sometimes I throw cinnamon in there, ginger, whatever. Here we have a lot of green peppers. They were on you sale. You heard her first. She throws gingers in there. And then she is a murderer. This fried up with tomato. I'm it's joking. really delicious. It's a great combination. And, of course, apples are always great. Whenever we eat apple, we give a little bit to our dog, Bella. She loves apples. And um, they can also be m mashed up and made into applesauce. You can cut a bunch of them up, put them in a pan, warm them up, put some cinnamon, a little bit of maple syrup, and it's so delicious. Oh, and I forgot to show you we have a few avocados. We don't have avocados all of the time, but that's these ones are all to get green. right at the that same time. Like. So we are going to have to be eat those pretty soon. Okay, let me close the fridge again here. Fridge makes noise when that left looks open. weird. Oh, let me close this. Okay, so we've gone over everything pretty much on this shelf. That was this like is brown. just one type of a sauce that we have. Usually we have a marinara sauce that's a little more um, spicy than that, but that's just all I have at the moment. So let's look over here on the left. On the left, we have Mayonnaise. apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is something that you can add to salads. Just gives it a little bit of a zing. We're, we're eating this kind of mayonnaise right now, but we vary between different kinds. This is really delicious. I mean, why, why use eggs if you don't have to? This mayo has just got an amazing zing. Honestly, I could eat the whole jar just with a tablespoon. I just find it so good. Ew. Standard stuff like everything. Yeah, let me go grab a spoonful of mayonnaise. Mustard, some more mustard and just here, eat it all on one baking. sitting. I'm definitely not going to get fat off olives. of that. Just eat mm, those olives. straight or throw them into whatever you're cooking. And here is the maple syrup. You should buy maple syrup instead of honey. Vegans don't eat honey, but they do eat maple syrup. An extra soy milk here and ketchup. Like I don't get the fact kind of that they don't eat honey. It's not they're milking. Over, the the over here, I, I just leave it there ground up flaxseed. Don't forget to eat ground up flax seeds and chia seeds every single day. You can't One tell me what to do, woman. It's really good for you. I'm not even vegan. This is some You're making me not want to be cheese. vegan. Like, it's the first time I've ever done this. You, you, oh, the you're like, falling apart here. Demotivate, but, um, you demotivate me it to be It is really vegan. delicious. This is the kind of cheese that they use when we get pizza at a place called Pizza Pizza. And you can get vegan pizza. pizza and they pizza. give you vegan meat on it. It's so good. And I really recommend these. I find them very, very good. We also have Beyond Burgers. Beyond Burger has 20 grams of protein in it. And we don't eat these very Ooh, often. Maybe once a week or once every two weeks. But they are kind of fun to have. Yeah, because they look like burger, right? very little so nutritional value. And if you want to be vegan, you can have these ready. And you can bring those Put those on the barbecue, and there's no need to pay for murder. To Whole pay for murder, all right, sure. Hemp seeds. I put hemp hearts, hemp seeds on my oatmeal. I also put flax seeds and chia seeds. That's also a great way. Yeah, you heard it first. She said crack seeds. We've got some cruciferous. We've got some cauliflower here, which I can 
blend, throw it all in a blender and make a soup out of it. One great thing about a blender is that you can get a lot of vegetables into your body without sort of chewing forever and ever. We have some sweet potatoes. These can be put in the oven. Also back here have some carrots. And in our little drawer here we have, oh my goodness, I have to clean in here. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Over there. Apple, that's an apple. You don't oh, know what no. that is? Okay, we have some tofu here. We get the firm tofu and we have this, which is a, a type of vegan meat that you can buy. This one is flavored. Ground Italian. round. What the heck and is a ground round? That. It's like ground round. Uh, you can put that into tomato sauces, like spaghetti sauce. You can put it I've never been bo so bored right watching a video pan, in my life. Just throw in some tomatoes and some green peppers like i said and some onions all right we're gonna go check out something and else and, and we have more. all right now she's gonna tell us what to buy i'm gonna show you some things that you should choose in the grocery store and what to be careful not to buy so if you look over here if it says anywhere dairy free that is something that you should buy dairy free so she's just pointing out the obvious contain any of the suffering that comes from the dairy industry. If I wanted to become if vegan, I, mean, I don't even have to watch this, this, this video. She's just pointing out the obvious. Go to the store, check for dairy. This is non dairy on it. Has the word vegan buy it. On it. Coconut milk vegan. This is something you could buy. This is something vegan. No, it's something you can buy for vegan. This. Because it Yogurt says vegan on it. Alternative plain. Now we're looking to see if we see. It says cultured coconut milk. Which is great. No, I was we looking for real milk. There also be some other product in there that we don't like, so let's look. So okay. she's basically just pointing out the obvious at this point? Coconut milk? Yeah. I don't see in, in the ingredients anywhere that it says cow's milk. I don't oh see any gosh. eggs, no meat, so that would be okay too. But it's interesting. Do you see the symbol? Oh yeah, here's the word. See the word vegan there? That's how you know it's okay. That's, that's, that's not the word vegan. Yes, it is. That's Here's a big... A bunch of other things. She's literally pointing out the obvious. What is the point of this video? I'm gonna go to the store and tell you guys what is vegan and what is not vegan. As you guys can see, it says on the label. So I'm gonna continue on showing you guys stuff that's a vegan on it. Because obviously, you guys want to see me pointing out the obvious. No, I'm done. If you guys enjoy, smash like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, and after that, you've done your duty. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.